Hi everyone, it's Mary Ann with Akashic Inspirations and this is going to be our March Love Tarot reading for the sign of Libra. And wow, Libra, you've got the full moon in your sign on March 23rd. So let's start with that. Um, you are bringing your beautiful energies of balance, of of also the balance is going to be centered around endings and beginnings. Um, the balance of the dark and the light about being um, the centered uh, center part of the scale of the balance, um, that which holds within each of its arms the light and the dark, the masculine feminine energies, and is able to see how best, you know, where you're out of balance and where you need to kind of rein things in and where you need to explore to expand. So the full moon is also going to have, is going to be a super moon. So it's one of the first of the of six super uh, full moons uh, in this year, and it's in your sign. So it is time for you to really uh, go through this process of elimination and rebalancing of self. And it all starts with the new moon this month in the 8th of March, uh, which will be in the sign of Pisces. And there will also be a solar eclipse that day, which again balances or reflects the the lunar eclipse in your sign. So here we have the water element of Pisces. And uh, when the full moon is in Libra, we will be in the sign of Aries by that time. So, wow, just a lot of influences, a lot of uh, changes, karmic changes, really letting go of, of hitting a next step in the spiral ladder, if you will. Um, and it's one in which by hitting our reset button during the uh, solar eclipse at the beginning of the month, you can really set the tone for what you're going to culminate in your full moon. So very strong um, energies towards going within, seeing your inner wisdom, finding that balance, being grounded, being very grounded. And, um, you know, since you are a, an air sign, you, you need to have that counterbalance of the air, of the, uh, excuse me, of the earth, of fire energies to um, help you to find your center. So, uh, of course, these are going to, this is always a generalized reading. If you would like a private reading uh, for your sign, for you, um, you can go to AkashicInspirations.com, which is my website. You can message me on Facebook if you follow my daily readings there. And I've also started doing some little video vignettes or clips on Angel Oracles on Instagram. So feel free to follow me on Instagram. Um, so this month we are also uh, offering a package. Myself, uh, Debbie or Glammy Witch from Intuitive Deborah. Ron Schaefer from Simply Intuitive, and it is Past Life Regression. We will help you via Skype call to uh, really look into the past lives that are karmically have blocked you or uh, have influenced this life directly and um, help you get through that, help you get the understanding you need and bring forth the lives where prosperity, abundance, and love and joy were prominent and dominant in your life so that you can pull from those energies to support uh, your life purpose, your life goals, your mission, and your intentions for this life. And that is only $60 for three psychic intuitives, Akashic readers, and mediums. And, of course, we, we always enjoy the interaction and the shared energies. Um, so if you're interested in that, just go ahead and check out my AkashicInspirations.com. So with that, we go to, again this month, the Glastonbury Tarot. And if you haven't seen previous month videos, please feel free to check those out for the readings for your sign. So here we go, Libra. Let's see what what energies... Our angels, guides, and ascended masters want to convey for our love to row reading. And we've got the first card. Mm. I'm getting this card a lot. This is Eight of Wands, 
with directness. Usually it's depicted by wands flying through the air. So again, this rushing in of energies, uh, very fiery, very passionate, very quickly direct and focused um, energies are coming in. It's like laser I'm hearing laser removal. So it's, it's going to be like laser removal of some of these issues you've just been um, you're ready to let go of. So ready to let go of the bow and hit the target uh, right in the middle, in the middle of the bullseye. And with your focused intent for the new moon, um, you'll be able to reach those goals. And by the culmination, here we have the moon card. So perfect. So by the culmination, by setting your intentions in the new moon, culminating in the full moon in your sign, um, here you have um, that deep connection to intuition, that deep emotional bonding, um, that spiritual elevation and divine connection to your spirit, to your higher self, which you can bring down and ground into your body. Ask your higher self to come in and play with you, work with you, give you its energies and give you guidance. Um, we can do that um, by just opening up our heart space, opening up our heart space and our third eye. So this is what these colors to me are representing today is really that heart centered uh, mind and uh, emotional connection, which is uh, leads us to higher heart and fifth dimensional energies. So very pretty, very nice to start uh, to give us the the messages for this month. And then we go to knowing that you have this inner strength. Um, here is a person who is illuminated from behind, and he seems to have created this barricade of. Um, this wall or this barricade and he's standing firmly in front of it. So it's about standing in your truth, being who you truly are, being authentically uh, the person who um, has found that inner strength, who has found the balance, that green energy of healing and being totally balanced in your heart center. And then the next card, the, what this leads to, this, this, this whole passage here leads to is the Knight of Staffs, which is a person who, um, is able to view things, um, looking towards the past. To me, it's, he's looking towards the past. However, it's in a loving manner. So he's able to work, uh, through forgiveness through his energies of creativity, um, through this unconditional love, these colors of the, the pinks and the salmon colors and the yellow, all of those combinations streaked with this underlying um, force of kundalini, this underlying life force of being able to use these transcended unconditional love energies to look towards past relationships um, to forgive and to release and to allow them to um, to gain that understanding of the lessons which they have provided and helped you come into who you are today. And as we move forward, let's see what cards want to come out for our Librans. That <laughs> very appropriate. We have the Queen of Staffs, and she is looking forward now. Now. We've gained this beautiful understanding, this beautiful love, and we carry that forward in a very uh, strong sense, a very sense of self, uh, of looking forward to the future, bridging. Look how it bridges the colors here, bridge from one card to the next. So you're bridging this energy of the higher spiritual um, understanding, the love and compassion, and yet uh, being able to express it in a, a much more loving, um, action-oriented manner. So if before you were the type of person who was not very demonstrative um, and kind of uh, emotionally detached, you will find that you will be able to express yourself in a, in a higher state, express your emotions um, with more uh, confidence and more fervor, if you will. So let's see what else, what other card has come out for us. Let's see. That's very, oh, that's okay. So we've got several cards here. Uh, I will just post the rest of them. Wow. All right. So from the Queen of Staffs, 
this union or this relationship that uh, made you into who you are was also um, uh, there was probably issues of responsibility of taking the responsibility but when you assume responsibility for yourself for your actions for your participation in a relationship you were also given great rewards you were given that beautiful uh, in this case this beautiful child this little girl um, who is full of love, full of uh, the higher love, the, the magenta pink energies of the divine love. So she's so close to source, so that you've gotten to the source. You've gotten the, the divine love and purpose into your life by accepting this responsibility for uh, who you have become because of this relationship. And here you find the balance with that person. You find the, the way to set your boundaries of respect, honor, and it is reflecting. You see these, this couple is reflecting each other by the, the, the clothing. She's got the, the light color on top with the darker pants and he's reversed. So it's a balance. Here is a perfect card for Libra because it is a balancing of the energies and creating these boundaries which are protective and which are respectful and which um, allow you to really connect to that other person and allow them to connect with you in a more peaceful, grounded, and solid foundation. And when we find that balance, there comes, therefore, the change. And here we have two change cards, two of pentacles, which is, again, finding the balance in our material life, in our home, in our family, our finances. Everything is reflective. You know, everything is connected. Your energies are connected. When you're balanced, everything seems to flow easier and you find the balance within all aspects of your life. And know that the transformation that is coming about for you this month because of this solar eclipse, um, it is a balanced energy. Because here we have the water and the fire, the earth and the air. All four elements come into play to create this change, this, this dynamic explosion of who you truly are, of really breaking out of the old um, dramas and paradigms and um, uh, reactions that you would always used to have, it, that's all changing. So this this tower card is not only it is about releasing um, those uh, walls that were constructed to you know, to, to, out of fear, basically. And now you're going to be able to be this beautiful phoenix that has been reborn, which really ties into the energies of the Christ consciousness that is coming in through the Easter celebration at the end of the month, along with the spring equinox, the rebirthing of the God, rebirthing of the sun, rebirthing of everything that is light. So you are, your light will illuminate and spread out over all uh, facets of your life. Um, so beautiful, beautiful messages, very strong. Um, could be, they're very transformational, but I love that. Then we have the balance of the moon and the tower because it come and the strength cards because they come, they come from this inner strength, this inner, um, authenticity of which you have found within yourself and, and really, uh, taking, taking your part and accepting the responsibility for past relationships and just not being judgmental neither to yourself nor to others, but releasing that and that creates the balance. All of this is the balance within your life so that you can embody, uh, you know, the, the, the positive aspects of your sign through the full moon and then emerge from the primordial egg, emerge after the full moon into your risen higher aspect of divinity and combination of mind, body, and soul and be able to be this magnificent attractor and co-creator in your life as well as in your relationships. So 
I just want to thank everyone again always for liking, subscribing, and sharing my videos, for participating and leaving me comments. I, I read them all. I do. I appreciate them. I like them. I, um, I give you little uh, nudges. And um, I, I really do appreciate the sharing of energies and for your time and watching this. Um, you can look forward to, I will be posting videos after I finish the series on the uh, new moon and solar eclipse for March 8th, according to the elemental signs. So we'll do the air, fire, water, and earth signs um, in groups and post those videos as well. Uh, I look forward to sharing with you on Facebook and Periscope and all the other means of social media. Uh, please feel free to check out my blogs on my uh, website, and I have free downloads available for you as well. And, of course, you can check out the past life regression. So I send you many blessings. Take advantage of this full moon, which is in your sign, a super full moon, as well as eclipse. And I send you blessings for the month of March, Libra. Namaste.